Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today we are going to do a quick comparison between um, copper plumbing and PEX plumbing and why, I'm just going to show you quickly why everybody's switching to PEX. Um, it's so much nicer to use. No, nothing wrong with copper, we've used it for like a hundred years. It's fantastic. But the, uh, the difference between uh, PEX and copper, uh, one of the biggest differences is uh, using a blowtorch, okay? And the problem with the torch is that you can't turn it upside down and use it. It has to be up or to the side. Um, you try to keep it away from like a wall, so say there's a wall here, you don't want to flame up against the wall, you want to flame away from the wall. But you're usually really limited. So, I don't know if you've ever heard any stories from plumbers, but every plumber's got a story where they've set something on fire. Uh, and usually there's more than one plumber there, so they usually they put it out pretty quickly. Um, I, I had a friend that uh, started a condo on fire in Toronto, actually. It was a pretty funny story, but um, yeah, terrible. Like, he ruined the condo uh, trying to put out the fire, <laughs> so <laughs> it happens. So, you know, that's the main uh, thing that I have a problem with, with copper, and uh, anyway, so I'll show you quickly now. So first thing you got to do is you got to take your pipe and you have to cut it. So right here we have, you could either use a hacksaw or you could use one of these cutters. So you crank it down, it's got a cutting wheel on it. Crank it up so it's touching, spin it around, crank it down, spin it around. This gives you the nicest cut, but it takes a while. Do, 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 do. We need some music here for this one. Oh, there we go. So that one's cut. Oh, where's my sandpaper? All right, so after you cut it, you need to make the copper so that uh, it will take solder. So you have to take the oxidization off of the copper. So you can use sandpaper or uh, steel wool. Steel wool's quite good. You see the difference? How shiny that is? Basically, you got to make it shiny again, or else the solder won't stick to it. So, a plumber will be faster at it than I am, but you may not be. So, and then you have to do the inside, even though it still looks shiny, you want to clean it up so that there's no oxidization on the copper because that prevents the copper from bonding properly. And it's hard to get in with a piece of sandpaper and whatnot. And these pipes are sharp too, so you can cut yourself. <laughs> Alright, so that's clean. Now, I'm going to put this in here. Alright, and then you have to take some flux, soldering paste or flux. You put a little bit of flux around it, okay. and that is an acid, and it helps to eat the uh, oxidization off as well. Right, so you do that. Then I'm going to use a cap here. Put your cap on. So I'm going to tilt this to the side. I know. You're thinking to yourself, "What are you doing?" It just gives you a better view. And then have to turn on your get your solder so when you solder this the flame right now is blue it'll start to look a little more green when it's ready so you have to heat up both sides it takes a while you gotta heat it up see the color is changing from blue to green now I can take my solder and I dip the solder in and it will wick all the way through. Okay. And it's see that's how hot it is. It's catching my table on fire on this side. <laughs> so we'll just let that cool down. Now that's how long it takes, right? And then once again, you're up, you're 
if there's water in the line, it takes even longer. Um, the water has to be drained out of it as much as possible. A lot of times you end up boiling the water out at the end, making sure that there's no water in there. So then you can solder it, then you have to wait for it to cool, and then you have to go through all those same things that I just did to solder that, right? So, yeah, it's a pain. And if you're not good so at soldering, then it will leak, or it'll blow right off, right? So, that's the thing. So anyway, PEX is super simple. So, we'll do a PEX comparison here. Some of the uh, tubing. So, this just shows you how quickly, quick and easy it is. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to cut a piece of tubing off. There's a piece of tubing. I'm going to crimp this guy on here, this plug. So you put the uh, crimp ring over top, or what do they call them again? Uh, pinch clamps. All right. So you take that, you put the tube, put it over top of the tube. You put this over top of the fitting. Move it down a little bit. Take your cutters. Oh, not your cutters. <laughs> You take your PEX crimp tool and then you put that inside and hold it like that and then you just push. It's quite a, quite a lot of pressure actually. And then once it's all the way, then you release it and there you go. Here, here's a closer look. And this ring here, okay, it has that neat little spot on it there. There's like three places that holds it in place. And if you want to take this out, you can actually bend that out and then grab it here with a pair of pliers or a screwdriver and pry it back and that'll take it off and you can reuse this fitting. Pretty cool, eh? So that's it. That's how quick and easy that was. Um, All right, so <laughs> I've tried uh, for a little while using a pair of pliers and a screwdriver to try to pry this off like they say that you can, but I was unsuccessful. Um, and it's it's really a tough uh, a, a tough ring, um, but it has to be for your plumbing, right? So it's good, and it just proves that it's good because I couldn't get it off. <laughs> so anyway. What I normally do with these is I use a Dremel and with a cutting uh, blade and I just take the uh, thinner edge of the ring and I cut it off with that and uh, you can actually cut it off and I not just don't go, go too deep and it doesn't affect the, uh, the fitting at all. Alright, so that's normally what I do and it's easy and I already have a Dremel so it's all good. So anyway, yeah, that's it, basically. Um, super easy. I love to use the PEX. It makes my life so much better. And I'm going to show you some uh, PEX videos in the future. All right? Uh, different plumbing stuff that I'm doing. All right, anyway, thanks for watching.